right, here we are out at Camp Knudsen in Cross Lake, Minnesota. I am here with Christy Rodel, who is with Wapoa, the White Fish Property Owners Association uh, Shoreline Restoration. She is the guru and the gal that takes care of all of that for us out here. She is going to show us a project that was done out here at Camp Knudsen for shoreline restoration. And uh, here is Christy. Hello. If you hear the, the bell, that's just the Brittany, the dog running around with the bell on. So <laughs> anyway, um, I'm out here with Shannon. We're sh I'm showing her this project out at Camp Knudsen. Um, the dog's out there swimming in the lake. So um, this is Trout Lake and this is uh, Whitefish Lake. And this is the point at Camp Knudsen where they're getting a lot of erosion. So what we've done is we've got um, Prairie Restoration came out and installed these coir logs. They're coconut fiber logs that are biodegradable. You can see the spikes, um, the, the, the wood that they put in, and that's going to hold the coir log in place. So when they get the uh, bounce or the waves of the water, they won't wash out. Um, and then you can see, see how the rope is, how they've tied um, from these wooden stakes they've tied the coir log in so that it'll stay in place. The coir log is biodegradable and that will be gone in about uh, probably three to five years. The goal is to protect this point so we don't get any more erosion on it. And then what uh, we did, some of the Camp K um, volunteers, we came out and we made these willow wattles, which is a bunch of willow, and then we made it into uh, like little logs and we wrapped it again with biodegradable twine and then we stuck it in back of the coir logs. So the idea is that the water will come in and it'll filter down through this willow wattle and then it'll actually start to make uh, more of the lake shore. So it'll actually get hard and you'll be able to walk on it eventually. And so then what we also did is this is a uh, willow staking it's actually a stake it's a piece of willow that you cut and you stick it down in and then eventually this will grow up and become big willow that will it's got long roots it's a native so it's got long roots to hold the soil in place so that'll be a really really good thing for this point so and then we've also prairie restoration seeded the whole point with um wildflower and grass seeds so We've been uh, watering that. My son has been volunteering out here watering it to try and uh, get more growth up here on this uh, shoreline to hold the soil in place so we don't get more erosion. So, um, and up there just a little bit, you can see the uh, sign, shoreline restoration sign, way up there that we've put up in, uh, because this is about the second or third project we've done on this point to try and, uh, to make sure that we stop the erosion and prevent this uh, beautiful property from going away and to protect it. And then over on the other side, hang on, I have to get my dog to be nice. Um, over on the other side over here, there's a biodegradable blanket and that was installed by Prairie Restoration. And again, what they did is they planted in the blanket. This is one of those uh, little, I'm trying to remember the cedar tree. That's the cedar tree. There's a lot of them around here trying to hold the soil in place. So this is the, uh, this is a biodegradable blanket that you can see that's in, in place. And then you can see all these little, uh, plants, plugs that have been put in place and they're, they're natives so they've got deep roots and they'll hold the soil because as you can see it's eroding along here so the goal is to try and hold the soil in place. The blanket is again biodegradable it'll uh, probably go away in about three to five years but the goal again is to try and hold the soil in place. Get some vegetation growing so that it'll hold uh, the soil in place because we don't want any more of the rocks like we see here that have fallen and gone into the lake and people hit them. So, 
So that's it. That's the Shoreline Restoration Project at Camp Knudsen. Awesome. Thank you, Christy. Thank you.